Are you ready? I am ready. Let's go. We just went through some thorns, like some gnarly one inch thorns. Trying to figure out uh, what trail to go to to get to our fishing spot because we got to catch dinner. All right, what's up guys? So I'm out here at the San Jacinto with my boy Graydon. And uh, yeah, we just uh, had a whole adventure to get to this spot. So we're about to go try to catch some catfish with some shrimp right here. And uh, that's gonna be our dinner. We're gonna, we're gonna make a little camp out here today. So it's gonna be sick. We gotta walk across here. It's a little too deep for the four wheeler to get across. There's a clay bank. So basically with this river, if you find a clay bank, uh, you can pretty much count on it being pretty deep. As you can tell, it's typically a sandy river. So that is the strategy. Try to get two, really two catfish. Graydon said he's happy with one and uh, we'll cook them up. Fish, but I think, I think we'll be able to catch some other species. Oh yeah. Uh <laughs> oh, oh, oh. All right. The water's hot. Yeah, it's pretty hot. Water clarity is zero. <laughs> I mean, if you really look down with your glasses. <laughs> uh, I should probably get my phone out. Oh, the cord close. Nice. All right. I forgot about my phone. It's soaked already. Oh, good thing it's an iPhone. Yes. iPhone, sponsor us. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we just got to this uh, clay bank and it actually worked out perfect because uh, there's a creek that's flowing into the main river here and uh, fish like to sit there because any dead fish or really alive fish, bugs, they're all going to flow right where the, uh, the creek and the river meet. So we're going to throw our shrimp right in there and uh, hopefully to catch some channel catfish. I think there's some blue catfish in here, but uh, I think it is primarily channel cats. So let's see, uh, let's see what kind of damage we can do. Frozen uh, shrimp, this just, we literally just bought this at the grocery store. Um, I'm just using a single hook with a weight, pretty simple setup. And uh, this is the same shrimp that we used a couple nights ago <laughs> to catch catfish on like That's corner. right, so we know these shrimp work. Yeah, we know they're quality good <laughs> So just kind of hide in the hook in there like that, and uh, let's give her a give her a toss. <laughs> Is that a little bass? No way! That's hilarious. Her weight weighs more than him. Yeah. Oh yeah, you got it. Healthy little, little guy. Little. <laughs> yeah, no parasites. <laughs> He's right. actually a fat little chunk for like how small he is. Like he's yeah, heck yeah. He's he been, has a little belly on him. Yeah, he's been eating, so that's a good sign. We like to see it. Oh yes. On three, we're gonna get the release. There it goes. <laughs> tie the drag, tie the I drag. It goes. <laughs> it's going for the log. It's bass. No way. Yeah, it's another bass. There's no way. No way, bro. No. That's a, that's a hybrid. <laughs> Look at that. Dang, we got dinner. What a dandy. We got dinner, baby. Let's go. Thank the Lord. Thank Shrimp you popping off. Man, that's a that's a good eating size yeah. fish right there. We're, yeah. Hey guys, we're Let's go. We're good to go. I know this a bass, large mouth bass. Come on, buddy. All right, so now I'm gonna throw a little uh, topwater popper. I've been seeing a lot of uh, blow-ups, which means a fish comes up and eats something on the surface. Graydon's also getting a bite right now, and he's about to fillet his beautiful fish. Oh, you gotta put that buddy down. You gotta get another one. Got him. Really? Yes, sir. We got 
Uh, it's a little large mouth. I don't think he's going to be big enough. Beautiful little large mouth. So these guys have to be uh, 14 inches. All right, well, let's see if we can get a, get a large mouth that's 14 inches or a, a white bass that is 10 inches. Any size catfish or Graydon got an 18 inch uh, hybrid. Oh, that's a good one. Let's go. Come on. Oh, oh yes. Yes. Come on. Oh, let's go. No. <laughs> Another Whoa. hybrid, my friend. Heck yeah. Let's go. Yes. We got another hybrid on the popper. That is a good one. Heck yeah. So, uh, yep, he's right over 18 inches, which is the uh, required, the minimum length for a hybrid. So this fish is a mixture between a striper, a striped bass, and a white bass. Uh, they just do a little bit better down here in South Texas. Uh, so yeah, heck yeah, these are delicious fish. We're gonna be eating good tonight. We got a nice little filet over there, and this one will uh, cook up nicely. Come over here. <laughs> yeah. I was right here. Oh, <laughs> dang, that's a good fish. Oh. <laughs> These little guys put up a fight, dude. Yeah, he was, he was going for it. Oh, so I was right here, and there's like these minnows right here, and a bass just came up like right by my feet and just chomped it. Every cast. Dude, insane. That one's not. Are you recording? Yeah. Dude, that's a big good quality content. That's a little chunk. Yeah. Dang. Not bad, not bad at all. I literally have lost count. It's crazy. That one, uh, I think that one would also keep, but we don't need them. Just a blessing. All right, well, that was exciting. So now uh, it's time for dinner. We're starting to get some firewood. Uh, this is perfect for starting. You really want to sm start as small as you can. So we're gonna go get some big stuff. Uh, it's been really dry here in Conroe, Texas, uh, but it makes finding firewood super easy. So, and especially the stuff that's just laying on the beach, it just bakes in the sun, so great stuff so we're gonna get a uh, wood going get some fire and uh, start cooking some dinner There we go, there we go. Yes sir. I believe we just got it caught, guys. I think that yes was sir, that is it. A fire. Uh, I think we should put on less of that rope. And just let this stuff to kind of start to burn up. Y'all gotta remember, a fire is like a baby. You gotta nurture it, you gotta take care of it, you gotta spend time with it. Just like that, boys. Oh, yes. 
And just like everything else, fire also needs oxygen. So that's why we were blowing into it. This is fantastic. I mean, quite awesome. Grady, you want to see something cool? Okay. So while we're letting the, uh, the, the fire take place to cook, hold this. First Let's... one cast, we're about to pull fish out. Confident guy. Yeah, you got you got a video this one though. I got you. All right, y'all ready? All right, he's confident. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh man, that's hilarious. This, like guys, you can't get better than this. No camera tricks. Yeah, that was that's. <laughs> I mean, what a day, folks! Man, paradise. All right, so we're ready to cook. Just putting some. Oh yeah, uh, that sucker is. Oh yeah, some Pam on there. So super simple. We just got some lemon pepper and Tony Satri. Uh, also, we got some lemon juice. Be about good. Toss that in there. Oh yeah. Oh, you wanna help me out? There we go. Oh yeah. Doesn't need very long. No, not at all. Yeah, that's a hot, hot old girl there. Woo! Oh yeah, get oh, some yeah. butter in there. Can't go wrong with some butter. A little pinch of Tony Satry. Oh, yeah. Look at, look at this master at work. Oh yeah, that's oh. Oh. oh no way. <laughs> Unbelievable. Alright, well I think that's done. They, yeah. They go quick. Let's not overcook it. For sure, for sure. There we go. Oh, oh nice. Oh, apart. Let's put <laughs> You got it. Oh, oh. <laughs> Woo. Yeah, it's toasty for sure. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Drop that in there like that. Ooh, oh, nice. this one. Okay. Such a satisfying sound. Yeah, it is. I mean, we're pretty much just using the heat of the pan at this point. <laughs> yeah. Everything. Tony Satri is the, I mean, prime, <laughs> prime seasoning, other than <laughs> the, a little bit there. Mm. How was that? Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> that's as good as it gets. Yeah. We got our green beans over there. Got the fish going up. Oh, green it's, beans uh, are boiling indeed. No. Oh, the green beans are boiling. The green beans are done. Try a little or a big bite here. Mmm. That lemon pepper really complements it. Uh, it's a really nice white, just tender, flaky, not fishy meat at all. Um, I don't know. I mean, would you have any other words of describing it? I mean, it's, it really no. is just high quality meat. I mean, that's about like what you're gonna get at a grocery store. Hundred percent. Um, at a restaurant. I mean, probably better. Yeah. There's no no fishiness. The bloodline virtually cooks out of it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a great experience. I mean, we're just all by ourselves in nature, enjoying the peace and quiet. And uh, yeah, you definitely can't get much better than that. And uh, we're spoiling ourselves. Got a little Dr. P. It's like our dessert. <laughs> mm. That's a good day. All right, well that, uh, that wraps up today's adventure. Man, what an epic catch and cook day the bite was insane the fish is delicious uh i encourage y'all go do the same thing explore nature do something new and uh and make memories well thank you so much for watching please hit that like and subscribe button we'll catch and you in the next one all, the quality is good yes let's go